everybody and welcome to a brand new tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how to remove unwanted objects such as this seagull that I have right here maybe you'd like to get rid of it and I'll make it into a invisible like it was never there by I will show you by using the marquee tool in this picture and in this picture I'll be showing you with the clone stamp tool which I'll get to after I show you the marquee tool so first what we do is we drag, I mean first grab the marquee tool, then you have this little cross or plus or whatever. And then what you do is left click and then drag and then you'll get this little rectangle shape or square or whatever shape your object is. And just move, move it and put it over the object that you want to get rid of. So right there is good enough. So as you can see, there's a little bit of the bird's, not the seagull's wing right there, and we'll get we'll get rid of it. For a, I'll I'll cover that later after I fill this. So what we do is go to Edit after that, click Fill, or you can right click and go down to Fill here, which I usually do because it's faster. For the contents in use, you click Content Aware, so that's it, and click OK. And as you can tell, it got rid of it. But then if you look really closely, you'll see there's like a gray spot right here. Because what Content Aware tool does, it removes one of the area that you said, and then it repeats it somewhere else. That's the problem. So anyways, let's do it again. If you do it multiple times, it usually gets rid of it. So Content Aware, OK. And bammo, we are done. But as you can tell, the bird's wing is a little short. But unless nobody is a bird expert that you're showing the picture to, nobody will ever notice. So the next method I will show you now in this picture with the clone stamp tool, which I got right here. So what we're going to do is get rid of these people because we do not want them in our picture. So what we do is click Alt and click anywhere which you think is like a repeated background, like the water is random and is out of focus, so it's even better. So what you do is click Alt on the keyboard, and then click, and then just start coloring in the person. And as you can see, this little cross appears right over there. So that what that shows you is what what you're what you're copying somewhere else, and that's where it's what the copying part is going to be. So just be aware where that's going, so you don't start copying something that's in a weird area. So let me zoom in even closer here. And put these little wooden plates here. You can do this all over the place. You can left click and click option all over the place. But you just gotta make it look believable. Like, you gotta get the right spots. That's all I'm saying, basically. Because you wanna get something weird, like, you don't wanna put, the, grab the seagull's body right here from here. Like, if you alt click here, and then start coloring here, then the seagull will appear over here. So, don't do that. Just try to do with anything that's random. That's the best thing that the clone stamp tool does. Now I'll show you uh, something else from far away, like look at this. I use the clone stamp tool to get rid of this, so I alt click here, start getting rid of this lamp post here. And if it reappears, just keep on clicking the alt button and it'll eventually get rid of it. As you can tell, I reached this bridge here, so gotta be gentle. I mean, want to zoom in. There we go, it's highly noticeable that I didn't finish, but anyways, that's basically it. It's not that difficult to get rid of stuff so like that. It's not very difficult, and it's very simple too. See, I'll do the clone stamp tool here too, so as you can tell, there's people near the ocean. The ocean's a random, it's random, it's very random. As you can tell, like, the ocean moves at, nothing moves at the same time. So, obviously, you can get rid of this stuff using the Content Aware tool. Just remember that every time when you're editing a photo, that if you have something with the ocean and you need to edit it, just remember the ocean's always random. So, that's when you use the Clone Stamp tool. And the Marquee tool is if the background is just a solid color and you can get rid of it very easily. So, as you can tell, what we've done here. And there you go. Now it looks believable.
now there's only one kid right in the middle of nowhere though but anyways that's basically it guys on how to remove unwanted objects so i guess i'll see you guys in the next video please subscribe check out my blog because i post there weekly on how to be a great film director and yeah so if you want to check that out go down there and i don't know follow my blog or whatever and just subscribe rate comment like this video and yeah if this helped you subscribe so see